Well, it's time to put some of these in the ground. This is Saturday, uh, Thursday. We brought them down here in these uh, trash cans. Uh, if you can look at them closely, you can see there's some of the leaves are just starting to wilt a little bit. They're laying over a little bit. That means that uh, my milk cartons have dried out. I think you can see down in there hopefully that the the soil on the top of those milk cartons is real dry so they'll slide out and not come apart when I take them out and they they set the sun down here for two days and uh, now it's time to put them in the ground and we'll plant these fourth of July's first you I don't know how good the light is on that but you can see how dry that soil is on the top of those and what I will do is pick up the head of this plant and pick up the carton and come straight out with it. I will already have dug the hole with a shovel and I will have already put the uh, nylon hose ties on the pole so I won't have to do that when the plant's laying in the ground and needs to be supported. Before you start digging your holes, the first thing you do is put your ties on the poles. I just is a granny knot, but I do two loops on the first granny knot. Since my tomato is going to come up from this side of the pole, I put the knot on that side of the pole. I just uh, have a ball of these tied onto my shirt. Sometimes you can see the old mark where the uh, tie was on last year, where it was uh, blocking the sun from a pole. Two loops on the first granny. One loop on the next, it will not come undone. And since I'm expecting my plants to be this high, I'm up here on this where I, I have my hammer block. Then when you dig the hole and lay your plant down, lay it up here, you can tie it off without having to do this. Less likely that you'll break your stem or break any of the branches off of your plant. Now all I have to do this is for 40 poles. I'm going to video this as a before for my after after I get these tomato plants planted. I just did 26 stakes. I have three ties on each stake. I try to have the little ends about even so when I tie it around the stem it just makes it easier. Depending on the height I have going over the uh, hammer blocks. But see, it's pretty sparse, right? No garden. No garden. These will be pepper steaks. Just want you to see what happens when just in a very little bit of time you have an instant garden. The man up at the corner one day, he was growing determinate plants and he hadn't done much with the soil. Like most people that work, and his wife works, they don't have so much time to fool with this. Not like somebody like me that's retired. But uh, he came by one day, and the garden was sitting there with no stakes or anything. He came by the next Saturday, all the stakes were in, they had tomato plants two, three feet up the stakes. He stopped his golf cart, came over and said, I don't understand. I go, what do you mean? He said, well, last week you didn't have anything there. And I said, Ann? And he said, well, now you got, when did you plant those tomatoes? And I said, I planted them in March, and he had a quiz look on his face and I said I planted them at my house in a greenhouse in March. I brought them down there during the week. They were about 40 inches tall and I put them in the ground telling them to skate. He just couldn't believe how this garden in one week could have tomatoes you know 36 inches or better out the ground. And June the 1st last year I planted my tomatoes and they weren't any taller than those. And I've got slides to prove it, or digital photos. And on the 27th, they were all the way up there where the hammer block is. 20, in 21 days, that plant went from right there to there. Now these are my two experimental to try to get the uh, hornworm to lay eggs on it. Unfortunately, I should have put these in about two weeks earlier than I did. And I would normally not put these into the end of May, 
And here we have it the 19th and it's been pretty hot and it's going to be in the 60s at night next week so I'm going to put them in. But that won't give these two plants much time to collect all the hornworms. But at least you understand my theory now. If I would wait two more weeks to plant my plants, it would work. But unfortunately, at the height of these plants, I can't wait two more weeks. They've been another foot and a half taller. <laughs>